Today's scripted is The Beast of Boonville. Put him on the board, huh? The Beast of Boonville. Hello there, and welcome back to Creepy American Cryptids. Today's episode takes place in the southwestern region of Indiana, where a large, furry, clawed creature has been encountered. During this episode, we will explore the area where the monster was sighted, a description of this creature, the documented encounters with this cryptid, and what the Beast of Boone may actually be. The setting. The Beast of Boone is reported to dwell in the southwest section of Indiana, known as Warwick County, in the city of Booneville. Sightings and encounters with the Beast of Booneville mostly occur in and around forests, swamps, and fields containing edible produce such as blackberries. The Creature The Beast of Booneville's descriptions during sightings and encounters are similar in appearance to sloths, bears, raccoons, and sasquatch. This creature is reported to have a varied height, depending on the encounter, of between 6 to 18 feet tall when standing on its short hind legs. The beast is often described to be completely covered in fur and larger than a bear in size. Most descriptions agree that this cryptid resembles a large sloth or an oversized bear. However, other descriptions state that it is an ape-like creature or even an enormous raccoon. The Beast of Boonville is known for being violent, powerful, and aggressive. It is also known to attack without provocation and should be avoided if spotted. This cryptid has large razor-sharp claws on its front paws and has been known to do things such as grab a dog and tear it to pieces effortlessly. Another common feature of this creature is its foul odor. It is typically described as having its own excrement and bodily fluids putrefying in its own fur. This has an effect close to fertilizer from the fecal matter and urine congealing and breaking down. Imagine the world's worst compost pile. It is so potent and vile, it is claimed that the cryptid may have mushrooms growing from its fur. The beast is also known for emitting blood-curdling shrieks and yells that can be heard from a great distance, according to the citizens of Boonville. The Encounters The first reported encounter with the beast of Boonville occurred in 1936, when a fisherman reports that his dog has been torn to shreds by an unidentified large hair-covered creature. The fisherman's wife screamed when she saw the creature, at which point it ran off. She described the beast as a towering monster larger than a bear. A second encounter with the creature occurs the following year in 1937, when the fisherman's wife once again sees the beast, but compares it to a giant ape during this encounter. After this encounter, local residents of Boonville report horrifying yelling and shrieks being heard in the area. During this time, posses were formed to search outlying areas of the city to try to determine the location of the beast's lair. However, the beast and its lair were never found. The only evidence of the presence of the beast was a police dog being mauled so terribly during the search that it had to be shot to be put out of its misery. Theories A primary theory for this cryptid is that it belongs to a prehistoric species of large, ground-dwelling sloths thought to be long extinct. This theory is supported by a man entering the Boonville newspaper office a mere five days after the second encounter with the cryptid. The man claimed that it was indeed a giant sloth that he and his uncle had caught two years prior during an expedition in Mexico. He states that they lost the animal near Evansville and were not able to recapture it. However, his claim is dubious as he was unable to verify if the creature had three or two toes, then became nervous and stated that they came in both varieties. The man's demeanor and uncertainty led to the workers at the newspaper believing that the man was lying to get attention. A secondary theory is that the Beast of Boonville is an escaped circus animal, potentially a bear. This theory is supported by locals claiming to have witnessed a circus truck in the area that was empty, but looked like it should have contained an animal. A tertiary theory is that the entire story was a hoax to keep people away from the farmer's fields so they would not pick and steal their blackberries. A quaternary theory is that the Beast of Boonville is a misidentified Sasquatch. This theory is supported by several reports claiming that the creature was ape-like in appearance. However, these reports could also be a misidentification due to the cryptid being able to stand on its hind legs when it is not walking on all fours. Conclusions Many researchers believe that the Beast of Boone is a real species of possible prehistoric creatures that still stalk southwestern Indiana and many other regions in the United States and Mexico. This is a sensible conclusion as the reported encounters with this creature and similar creatures range from 1864 to the present day with the Beast of Boone potentially belonging to a larger classification of cryptids, known as Gorps. In this author's opinion, I believe that the wide area of encounters and sightings of this cryptid could actually be due to migratory patterns 
of groups of this cryptid throughout North America while searching for food and new habitats. This would account for the large distances in which this group of cryptids is sighted. We may never have the answers to all the questions and theories posed on this species of cryptid. However, one thing is for certain, something has and likely is roaming the forests and fields of southwestern Indiana. If you find yourself traveling in these parts of Indiana, keep your eyes and nose open. Because if you see a large, long-armed, fur-covered creature lurking in the forest, or if you smell a pungent, putrid, rotting scent, you may be in the presence of the Beast of Boonville. If you come into contact with this cryptid, do not do anything to alert it to your presence, but instead run as fast as you can in the opposite direction. The Beast of Boonville is known to be a vicious and violent creature, and if it notices you, it may attack and kill you and your little dog, too. See you next time, folks.